I just finished rinsing the bangs and <laughs> I'm so happy. So I'm about to go in with Riot on one side. I have to make sure, I'm... okay, I'm applying it on this side. I have to make sure I match my bangs. Um, I'm putting gloves on again and like I said, I've never done split dye before, so it's making me a little nervous. Like, I don't really want to screw it up. I already screwed it up a little bit with the bangs. Like, a little bit of aquamarine went over. It's not terrible, but I am such a perfectionist. I give myself a hard time all the time. And, ooh. I don't know, I just want to have fun with it. Um, Quick review. Good Dye Young is a little bit more oil-based. It does have a lot of essential oils It says process for 30 minutes at least and rinse with cool water. And you definitely smell the essential oils when you open it up. Bergamot, bergamot, bergamot. I don't know how to pronounce it. This should be fun. Oh my God. It's five ounces or in ml, it's 148, as opposed to my bottle of Arctic Fox, which is eight ounces or 236. It's almost double, but the regular Arctic Fox is actually half the size, which is four fluid ounces. So it's not too bad. Um, Good Dye Young is a little more expensive, but I think it's worth it. Like the payoff is amazing. I'm looking at my timer right now okay so I do have roots and I don't mind because I just fried my hair like not too long ago and I just I don't want to do that anymore <laughs> Ooh. oh my god look at that So good, so pigmented. Now, as opposed to bleach, you are actually allowed to, or it's actually okay to do your roots first and then kind of spread it out to the middle after. I'm not doing an amazing job. Um, I'm actually looking at a mirror where my cell phone is mounted, but yeah, I'm just gonna woo, keep continuing this until I cover half my hair with Riot. All right, so I'm halfway done. I kind of made a mess on my desk and I'm trying to clean it up. Um, I did make a little overlap on one side of my head because like I can't really see at the back and I used a mirror and I still got confused. <laughs> oh wow. Um, but yeah, nothing a little elbow grease and alcohol can't fix, I hope. It's like if not I have to paint over this. <laughs> my landlady is so gonna kill me. But it's looking good so far. I'm just gonna clean up my bowl and my brush and then I'm gonna go in with aquamarine on this side. Oh my god, I'm gonna make such a mess. But so far, I've done this side. Um, I know it looks a little different, but like hair that's dried looks massively different compared to hair that's wet. Also, I have not rinsed this off and it did look a lot like that with the hair extensions. I'm gonna go in with aquamarine. I am going to get Another set of gloves, bottle of aquamarine. I made a boo-boo somewhere here. You can't really see it, but it does bother me. So, I don't know. I don't know how it will go if aquamarine is gonna be pigmented enough to cover it up. Cause it did cover some part of this and it looked whack. But there's always a first time for everything. I... Aquamarine. Oh, this is not coming out the way I wanted it to. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 
there, there it is. Like, if you can see it, there's like a huge overlap that I have to fix off camera, but let's do this bitch. Yes, I said bitch. There's a little bit of overlap here too, but it's not too bad. They smell massively different. It smells good, just different. Ah, yes, there's definitely orange on this side. They will counter each other, so it's not gonna be too terrible, but at this point, even who knows. It smells like fancy shampoo. Arctic Fox. Yeah. There, there's where the orange is. It's not too terrible. Let's see if I can cover it up. I think I can. It's not too terrible looking. All right, I'm going to, ooh, I'm going to continue. Ooh, holy crap. I'm gonna continue doing this. I'm gonna continue coloring the rest of my hair and I'll see you in a moment. All right, so this is the mirror I've been telling you guys about and ah, yes, woo! There's a lot of overlap over there. Mirrors always confuse me. Like it takes a while for me to Get a handle on where things are but they do help a lot so hopefully i'll be able to fix this little overlap over here <laughs> all right so i think i'm done i'm looking at the back it looks mostly good yeah there's still a little bit of light almost white over here it's very tricky to do your own hair if you have anyone who will help you definitely get someone to help you like you can do majority of it and then have someone point out like oh you missed a spot over here but hmm, yeah i just hope to god that this does not bleed when i rinse it out i mean it did not bleed with the bangs but it's still always tricky when it's your own hair this turns out all right I think this is where the overlap was it doesn't look too murky it does look a little splotchy where it was but so it's definitely a lot trickier than I had anticipated and my poor sad little brittle hair is still crying like these these dyes are definitely conditioning, but I mean, you never know. Like that, that is like hair that fell off of me. Um, it's still pretty damaged from when I fried my hair with bleach a couple weeks back. Okay, so it's been about an hour for this side and like 30 or 45 minutes on this side. And I'm not sure if I want to rinse it yet. You are allowed to process it for as long as you like. Um, there's no harm in that. A lot of people do it. I normally just do what the instructions say, but this is really pigmented. So I think I'm gonna keep it on for longer. Um, there's definitely parts that did not blend as well as I had hoped. Arctic Fox's formula is definitely more gel-like. It's very similar and dare I say it, similar to Splat. Um, it's kind of like gel based in consistency as opposed to um, the Good Die Young side. This is more similar to the consistency of Manic Panic actually. Um, it's very oil based but still very creamy as you can see. It does have like that kind of consistency. Like you can tell the difference. 
not that one is better than the other, but they're just, wow. They're just different. And like, this is very pigmented, but at the same time, I feel like I haven't been able to blend the colors in as much as I wanted to. So this is gonna be pretty rad, I hope, because like based on the results on the bangs, like, like look at that, it's like a fiery orange, very much like my Haley wig for my NH. While this one, it's a little splotchy, but still pretty good. Like it, I think it gives the look a little bit of dimension and yeah, it's not so bad. And it's naturally wavy, like it comes in straightened, but if you start washing it, the waves come out. So I will have to either straighten this later or straighten and then wave it. It's a, a little bit damaged from like the entire time that I've been using it because I do have to straighten it all, straighten, straighten it all the time to match the texture of my hair, but I've recently got my hands on a lot of heat protectant products. We'll um, see, we'll see how well this fares, because like this is real human hair, so you have to treat it as if it's your own hair, and I've been treating it quite poorly. I look like a miniature snouter or something. Okay, so it's been about two hours for this side and close to two hours for this side. You can see there's still a little bit of like weird, not really banding, but just a different amount of aquamarine on some parts. But I'm confident it's gonna look good. So it's time for me to rinse in a couple of minutes. So I just stepped out of the shower and I'm pretty sure I rinsed it all out and let the water run clear. Um, the Arctic Fox side is definitely softer for some reason. Um, I don't know, it just, it feels a little dry. I don't know if it's, if it's because Good Die Young is oil-based, but the color is still there, it's very pigmented. I'm just a little weirded out that it feels a little rough. So this is but. the finished look. Um, I'm wearing my Remy hair bangs, but I can show you what it looks like without it. Super easy. Oof. A little bit of my hair got caught, but yeah. So I really love the outcome. It's super vibrant, and unlike what I originally said about it being a little dry on the Good Dye Young side, it's actually super soft now. And I love it, I love the results. And I love that the bangs match. Well, the bangs at the front are lighter by choice. And yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah.